welcome back it's me Loraja. my first colored hair tutorial of this time of me being back i'm very excited about this one because i think you guys are going to love my idea so i don't have a picture to show you guys let my creativity flow i'm thinking of doing brown tones right now you know browns neutral colors are very in and trendy right now so here is my color palette that i have for you guys these are all from kiss temptations this one is cinnamon this is honey brown this is dark warm brown and this is darkest brown because these are so similar i'm thinking about mixing these two together that's most likely what i'm going to end up doing so i already did like this side and just get gave myself an idea of how the color should like go on the wig so all i'm doing is just replicating what i did on the other side over here Alrighty, so I definitely did not tell you guys this hair is from chambray hair this is their Indian season 2 raw blonde now you guys can probably tell on camera I'm pretty sure it's going to be able to pick up on camera but the lighter part of the frontal is like the normal 613 very light blonde and then you guys can see the bundles are a little bit darker like it's like clear as day color difference that's because this is raw Indian hair with raw hair you never really know what type of hair you're gonna get because every single donor is different so you never know what type of hair texture this person is gonna be so just keep that in mind when you're ordering raw hair yes most of the time it does come this 613 very light pale blondes but then other times you can have a color like this which is more or less like the 27 number 27 blonde just keep that in mind you know I love me some Indian blonde hair but because this bu these bundles were a little bit darker I obviously had to make my color wig complement that type of color difference it is 28 inches and I have in four bundles and y'all know me when I'm working I'm working so I'm most likely not going to talk this part I am going to be showing and holding up the actual color bottle as I go but yeah let's get started of the darkest brown so I'm going to be using some clean wrap to section off so that this dark brown doesn't get on any of my other colors so this is how I always get those clean lines when I'm in between coloring for each section and put that down up here I'm gonna take the clean wrap and then start to just wrap this around
All right, so now when I drop this, it won't mix in with that darkest brown. Now for this section, I'm gonna be mixing the honey brown and the dark warm brown together because they're very similar in color. So they both have um, a neutral base and a warm base. So I went ahead and mixed both of those colors in a bowl and I'm just going to wrap this up just like I did before. This prevents the longer bundles from getting caught onto these because this is gonna be our light section. So you just wanna make sure that you are not getting that and messing up this flow we got. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this with my water bottle, same thing like I did before, and then go ahead and apply those two colors to the wig. So I literally have one more section to do um, with the cinnamon before I let it sit for about eight hours or so. And then I go ahead and do the white blonde toner. So the last color I'm going to be doing is going to be the color cinnamon um, kiss temptations like I've been using this whole entire time. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the section for the cinnamon. I don't understand why the hell it wasn't already parted. I don't know if I just let it go or what. All right, so let me go ahead and tie this up and do the same thing to the other side. And then I'll start to wet this section, apply the cinnamon, do the other side, and then I'll let this drawn sit, honey. going to move on to doing the front of the wig i'm just going to be showing you guys the two toners i'm going to be using um to mix together don't really know how these two colors are going to really look i'm just going based off of like my mental so hopefully 
it looks good, but if not, I mean, trial and error, you know what I'm saying? Now, I did go ahead and mix the toner with 10 developer. I know from the box, they recommend for you to do 20 developer, but since the hair is already processed to 613, I didn't want to like over process it. And I'll most likely let it sit for 20 minutes, but I'll just have to like see it with my eyes to see if I wanna do it for 20 minutes or if I wanna do it for 30. Alrighty, you guys, I'm on a process of doing the washout. So the way that I want to do this is by just washing the hair out section by section because we did do different coloring sections and I don't want everything to mesh together. So I'm gonna just start with rinsing out the front part and then rinsing out this color, then another color, then the other color, and just taking my time and just doing it one by one, step by step. Hello, today is a new day yeah. and I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry, customize, pluck the frontal. I just really wanna like take my time and just give different styles with my wigs moving forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it first and then I'm gonna show y'all my new method of how I like to pluck my wigs. dry the entire wig I also went ahead and put a little bit of this sleek and shine serum from um, Garnier Fruities just make sure you're putting a little bit of sleek and shine or like some type of serum in it because it will be frizzy like regular hair but anywho now I'm gonna go ahead to um, flat ironing the frontal because I am going to be plucking it this is a new technique like I said before that I had just started doing probably a couple of weeks ago but I'm gonna flat iron the frontal before I pluck it that way when I'm plucking it I'm able to really see like where the hairs on the hairline fall and then my precision of me plucking 
plucking is a lot more accurate so when I'm plucking it it looks so much more natural so I'm just gonna be using this babyless pearl titanium flat iron and I'm also going to be using this straightening brush and I'm just gonna section the hair off flat iron section off flat iron until I did the whole entire frontal So I went ahead and flat ironed the frontal and now I'm going to move on to plucking. I'm going to do my regular plucking. If you guys want to see a dedicated plucking tutorial, I do have one out now. I'm going to go ahead and pluck this entire frontal and then I'll show y'all the ending results. the wig isn't going to hit as hard if I just leave it straight I took like a couple of pictures like how the wig looks when it's straight and yes it's cute or whatever but I feel like if I don't curl it it's not gonna hit as hard as I need it to hit I'm gonna go ahead and curl it I want to use this hot tools two inch curling iron to do so and after I curl it I'm gonna spray a little bit of this Sebastian reshaper spray reshaper spray it's a um, brushable holding spray that I like to use or have been using for like the past like months or so so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and curl it spray my little hairspray in it let it sit and cool down and when it's cooled I'll come back and show you how I cut it and comb it out and like all that stuff
guys, so we are coming to the finishing part of this wig. The last thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and comb these curls out and layer it. Um, it's easier to watch than for me to explain because my whole entire method of how I cut is just so different. So I just like to actually take some Garnier, I'm gonna do a little bit more sleek and shine. And I just like to run my fingers through the hair first, just to make sure we take away as much static as possible. All right, and then now I'm gonna take my static free comb. This one is from Pattern Beauty. And I'm just gonna start to comb these curls out. So this is pretty much how I would be having the hair fall on this side. So I'm gonna take one section by the temple area. I'm going to go to the end of the lace. That's gonna be my starter point of where I'm going to start to cut. And I'm just going to do light cutting motions straight to the back going diagonal. Like I said, it's easier to watch than for me to explain. So I'm gonna start to do my little motions and cut until it's enough layers of my liking. have to say this is by far my most favorite wig I have done to date just the way I made the wig the way I did the elastic band the colors just everything about this wig was absolutely everything I will talk about this lace later because listen honey when I tell y'all this lace was giving me problems it was giving me problems but this lace is not from chambray this is actually a 13 by 4 frontal I end up finding in my stash don't know why I decided to use this frontal instead of the one chambray sent me but like I said we'll talk about that a little bit later but honey let's get into this color when I say I did my thing for this to be my first wig back honestly y'all I have to say hands down clap clap to myself you know what I'm saying because it's just everything. It's giving me just, ooh, like just every neutral tone. I had to give y'all a little slow-mo real quick because this is giving me just 1990s. Hello, Eve, what's up? Replay for that ass. <laughs> let me stop I'm so freaking retarded but yes it's just giving me everything it's just so different and I love it so much so as far as this lace when I'm putting the lace y'all are probably like what's wrong with the lace it looks normal to me honey no it is not this lace was giving me so many problems the lace is not 
as blendable like how chambray's frontals are so like i said i ended up finding a 13 by 4 frontal in my stash i decided to use a 13 by 4 frontal just because lately over the past few months that i've been off youtube i have been making wigs i've been styling wigs off camera and i've also been having my wig sales on instagram so that is really the way for you guys to get a wig from me is by following me on instagram at Larasia andrea because i do sell a ton of wigs on on my Instagram stories but yeah I have been experimenting off camera and making wigs off camera and the way that I've been doing my lace and my wigs lately have just been so perfect but I decided to use a 13 by 4 frontal like I was saying because I feel like it blends in a lot better with longer lengths like 26 and lower this lace was just was not blending in i understand why still to this day the frontal was sitting in my stash because honey it was not blending in for the life of me so i was like okay i'm not gonna get frustrated i'ma just go off camera take the wig off clean it wipe off my forehead and we're gonna try this again so that's literally what i did i'm using my got to be insta hold holding spray per usual that i have been using for a long time now when i started to put the lace on again it was giving me a little bit more so i was like okay it's finally starting to blend in a little bit better i could have went in and tinted the lace a little bit darker but like i said i am selling this wig so i didn't want to make the lace too dark just in case someone wasn't as dark as me so i just left it alone but like i said it blended in as best as it could but nonetheless like i said i did the best i could i should have just went ahead and used the chambray frontal but listen the lace is not that terrible now. It, it did what it did what it had to do. Okay, listen, honey, this wig is giving me just everything. I went ahead off camera and did my makeup. I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial next, so don't worry, you guys. Don't fret. We're still coming back with makeup looks as well. But yes, honey, this is giving me everything with the makeup purple shadow that I did on my lower lash line. Like this is literally my most favorite look I've ever done. Let me know down in the comment section down below how you guys feel about it. But nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video. Bye guys.